Apparently, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. But what if you're a night owl like me? No matter what we do, we simply can't fall asleep until the wee hours. Well, the very latest research suggests our late-to-bed tendencies could be hardwired in our genes. In fact, science now recognises the morning lark and its opposite, the night owl, are two distinct chronotypes. Owls outperform larks on most intelligence measures. And evening types are not just brainy, they've also been shown to be prolific lovers. Owls are partial to bad habits, like smoking and drinking, consistent with a broad personality trait that researchers call novelty-seeking. Larks, on the other hand, are much more cooperative, agreeable and conscientious than owls. It sounds a bit goody two-shoes to an owl like me. So, am I doomed to pat around my dark house until the early hours every night? Or can I reprogram my internal clock to fit better with a modern nine-to-five life? Surprisingly, it's something we all already do. The average body clock runs at around 24 hours and 11 minutes, yet we live on a pretty tight 24-hour cycle. And that means most of us reset our rhythm by 11 minutes each day. So that could be why many of us hit the snooze button. We're just not ready to wake up until 11 minutes after our alarm goes off. Whether you're an owl or a lark, you still need your seven to eight hours sleep to be at your best. That is, unless you are a short sleeper, one of only a few people who naturally sleep two or three hours less than the rest of us and still feels refreshed. But I'm not one of those. <laughs>